This is a bittersweet day for us here at it the is. early show. Um, on the one hand, we're so excited to be moving to our new studio in the new year, but um, life is really about people. And you're one of the great ones, Russ. You're sweet. And we're going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too. I am. We it's are. It's been so much fun. We're so lucky to have worked with you, and we're so excited for you with your new role in Cleveland. Thank you. Um, but we do have to say goodbye here and goodbye to this building, which has been our home for the past 11 years. That's right. You've been here for many of them. I've been here for many of these years. Yes, it's been a fantastic, uh, fantastic ride. But before we turn off the lights, we want to take a look back at some of the great memories we've had over the years in this building. It was in uh, November 1999, and uh, we were all very excited about doing our first broadcast here. Good morning on a glorious day in New York City. And I can remember sitting here and looking out in that plaza and thinking, wow, this is cool. It was March of 2010. I had never done anything beyond business news at that point, so it was really exciting for me to come into this complete potpourri of subjects, topics, nothing was off limits here, and it was really fun. I do remember we did several segments out in the plaza, and for whatever reason, I remember doing a segment with uh, the double dutch jump roping champ and jump roping out on the plaza. <laughs> I remember that. We had a gospel group on as well outside. If you're coming to be with us on the early show, this is the first thing you see when you walk in the door. Yeah, you walk down this hall, and if you go down these steps right here, you're in our newsroom. Ah, we better get to work. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs> it was a Saturday morning. NASA could not find Columbia. We went on the air with a special report, and for the next six hours, we were broadcasting from the studio live. Sometimes the control room is the better show than yes. what's actually going on in the studio. So true. But this is where it all happens, and it gets pretty nuts in here during a broadcast where we're out there doing, doing the show. All these seats are filled with people whose role it is to make sure that what you see on television is as smooth and as coherent as possible. They make it happen. They do. The biggest story that was broken in this building was 9-11. They were here broadcasting the first images of 9-11 from anchors who were here at the General Motors building. I think I'll remember the music and the great entertainment that we had in the studio all of the years. We've had Diana Krall, we've had Duran Duran, uh, we've had Harry Connick Jr., we've had my personal favorite, Gino Vanelli. You gotta move. Who no one else <laughs> probably knows, but. I love that Russ beat me in the challenge to make the best leftover Thanksgiving sandwich. Clearly, clearly his sandwich was, you know, head and shoulders above mine. Brendan Conway has been a part of the Saturday early show for how long? Uh, five years. Five, five years? years? I don't know. Yeah. Favorite really segment? Count. Um, ooh, that's a toughie. Animals <laughs> are usually my favorite. I've had an interesting relationship with animals on this show. Between right, the near right, the death in an owl attack. I mean, seriously, that owl was coming straight for me. You're not behind the owl, are you? Mm. No, not behind the you, you owl. You didn't do the owl. No, I did not do the owl. <laughs> Permanent co-anchors you've had in this building. Let's see. Thalia Asuras, Gretchen Carlson, Tracy Smith, and uh, now Rebecca Jarvis. If I left someone out there, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> Rebecca is my favorite. Rebecca is the coolest. Russ has been such an um, incredible partner and, and a mentor to me. He's somebody who you, you sit next to him for a while and you start to see this is a person who has so much gravitas, who's so in control, who knows exactly. He, he's got it all mapped out in his head, but at the same time, he's also got this sense of humor. <laughs> Mike Sheehan. What do you want? Hey, Michael. <laughs> We're just saying goodbye to the General Motors building. You've been here for how long? Since a week before we went on the air, November 1st, 1999. You gonna miss this place? Yeah. It's become a pretty big part of me. The green room. The green room where our guests Which isn't come. green, by the way. This is where folks wait before they go on the air, and at some point, a producer comes up and gets them and brings them to the studio, which is where we're going right now. 102 inches. It's a big plasma screen, yes. <laughs> this is where Lonnie does the weather every morning. Well, we appreciate it, as always. <laughs> Fine job. Do you think there's a market for this? You, you know think? what? It's actually going into my living room. Is that right? It is about the size of my living room. <laughs>
You talk about legendary buildings. The Broadcast Center certainly falls in that category. I'm really excited to move over to the Broadcast Center because there's a totally new look. There's a totally new feel. The broadcasts that have come out of that building are just incredible. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. The Evening News with Walter Cronkite. They've done soap operas out of that building. They've done news magazines. The NFL Today is done there. The space where the new set will be is a really cool space. You have mixes of old and new elements. I'm a nostalgic person. Things matter. Places matter, people matter, and anytime you move on from those places, it sort of is a defining moment. The Broadcast Center is a legendary building in broadcast lore. And the fact that this show is moving back there, I think, is fantastic, both for the show and for the building. At the end of the day, I know what we do on Saturdays. Coming up, the boys are I have fun with it, and I know that that's going to continue. <laughs> Great memories. Left out two of my TV wives, Susan Molinari, the first host in this broadcast, and Don Stenslin. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, well, we want to wish you, Russ, the best of luck. We're going to miss you. you so much. We're going to miss you as well. Thank you so much for your support over the years. Shall we turn off the lights? I guess so. Let's that go. means Happy New Year, everybody. Can I take a glass with you? I'll take oh, it for you. Oh, you How's take that? my glass. I'll get it for you. You're so helpful. <laughs> Always. Turning out the lights for the last time at 767 Fifth Avenue. This is a big Avenue. moment. You got it. All right, here Happy we go. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Shall we?